going on guys so this video is going to be about the six habits of highly successful people uh, apologies in advance i've got a bit of a cold but i just really wanted to get this video out for you guys it's going to be another long video so make sure you you know you get comfy get a, like a hot beverage uh, get your pen and paper you know so you can make notes and enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> So guys, the six habits of highly successful people. Now, before I begin, uh, just a quick disclaimer. You know, I'm not. Um, so basically, I'm going to be giving examples of how I practice these habits, also. But I'm not going to like try and say that I'm uh, I'm successful or I'm highly successful. You know, I'm not the guru or pretending to be the guru. I'm more of like a like a guinea pig. You know, I I try and say like what 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 works and what doesn't. I'm more of like an adventure type of a uh, person and then when i find out like cool stuff on my journey uh, i report back to you guys i share it with you guys and so basically you know we're on the same playing field and that's how i like to be portrayed as as well uh, you know we're all in this together and i'm just showing you my experiences and how i see the world um again apologies for the sinuses you know i've got a bit of a cold but i really want to get this video out to you guys so just bear with me anyway first um like successful habit is that successful people make a daily to-do list uh, this is something i've been doing for years I actually started off when i was in school i started creating to-do lists uh, liked it more than like the agenda type uh, so instead of like setting something into like me calendar or agenda i just created daily to-do list because i noticed that it worked much better for me and uh say with the agency you know say just anything i do every single day i create a daily to-do list even if if it's like a day off and I'm not doing anything for the agency, you know, I'm just like um, getting stuff done for the, like my personal brand. Or even if it's just a complete day off where um, I'm traveling and I want to see like certain things in the day or want to do certain things, I still create a daily to-do list. Every single day, like no matter what kind of day it is, I still do it. I um, actually got a screenshot of um, my to-do list from the 3rd of July. Uh, so this is quite a while ago, but this is what, like, what my to-do list looks like. I just get like moleskin, um, you know, notebooks, and then I write my to-do list in there. A lot of people do it in uh, like a Todoist app or you know on the phone, but I just like the the you know pen and paper type of to-do list. I like to cross off the little boxes. I can see like I create like, little squares and then I cross them. There's something about crossing off those little squares after you've done it to, like a, a a task. Just uh, I don't know. Maybe it's OCD or anything like that, but I just like crossing those off. So as you can see, um, on the left-hand side, um, I've got my goals for the week. So in this week, it was subscribe, add weird video. What I meant by that was um, I was actually, at the time, I was looking into YouTube ads, uh, pre-roll ads, and uh, I wanted basically to find a YouTube video about AdWords uh, that will help me get more subscribers from my YouTube channel. And uh, the second goal for that week was a coaching video. So um, around this time, I was also setting up my coaching business. So for those of you that don't know, I've got one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Uh, we're basically just taking a deep dive into like a few uh, like topics, uh, social media marketing, Facebook ads, anything like that. And uh, for the landing page, I wanted to create a coaching video. So that was the goal for that week as well. And outsource Skype to Daniel. Daniel is one of our virtual assistants. And um, basically, we keep in contact with all of our clients through Skype. And I was actually going to see if it was possible to outsource the, the contact path on Skype to one of our virtual assistants. So that was what I was working with at the time. Then uh, under that, you can see a couple of notes, uh, meetings with clients. Um, just let me check. Actually didn't close either of these two clients. Um, I think a lot of people think that, um, especially if you just look at my Instagram stories, that we close like multiple clients a week and like I do, I do have to say we are in contact with a lot of people a lot of meetings you know we, we do it's basically a numbers game and you know it might look like that our success rate is 100% but uh, we actually still you know um, have a lot of unsuccessful meetings you know a lot of a lot of times when we go for meetings with clients we don't close the client and at the end of the day it's just a numbers game guys you know if you if you're struggling with getting a client 
then just remember that you know we, even us you know uh, our agency's been going for a while now it's a six figure business but even we still struggle with uh, landing new clients you know sometimes it's just not a right fit and it's not you to blame you know it might be it might be your closing skills but it also might be that just at the time it's not a right fit for this business anyway on the right hand side you can see my to do list um i've actually had to block out a few names because these are clients that still work with us today and um, you know like one one of the the things within this industry is everyone knows that um, the easiest way to lose a client is by actually telling everyone that it's your client and then other other agencies or other people that are in the same industry can actually um, contact that client and say that they can do it better so it's that little unwritten rule within the industry that we sort of block out or don't explain or tell the name of our clients so anyway as you can see the first thing on my to-do list today or that day was reply to dms so i am um, you know, I get a lot of DMs every single day, um, around 20 to 30 direct messages. A lot of it's spam from like Forex traders or people trying to sell me kind of like um, light bots or anything like that. Um, but, you know, there's, there's still a lot of messages that I try and reply to. I really do try my best, guys. And, um, you know, some days I just know, I'm, you know, it's basically if I don't do it, then it just builds up and builds up and builds up. So some, sometimes you have to set it in my to-do list to reply to as many DMs as possible. So that was... Uh, the case today send an invoice again it's one of our current clients or clients that we've still got so i had to block out the the, the name inquire about the strategy same goes you know same client about a new strategy that we've got to set in place uh, paypal to um a couple of people on the team i had to block out the name again post for clients uh, so at the time we were still really focused on social media management where we post for um you know our clients on the social media platforms for them and um basically there's like there's a few days in between getting the client and outsourcing the work to one of our uh, teammates when i say outsource and basically just give it to uh, one of our teammates and uh, in those few days where we're still like getting everything up and running we actually post manually for them so that was the case today reply to steven client reply to nicole client reply to emails so just you know um email inbox this might actually be on monday looking at the the, the amount of stuff on the to-do list uh, get daniel on skype like i said that was the goal reply to Raphael client ads for clients um, there was no ad account so we had to create an ad account for them uh, prepare teammate for call reply to steven client follow up angelo um high ticket champagne business we actually did not land them like i said guys you know it's a numbers game follow up with clients um, oh no actually that's follow up with a client that we did not have at the time but we actually ended up closing all about that follow up guys you know always follow up with uh, leads near to the leads you know stay in contact with them make sure they stay warm and you end up, you know you might end up closing them like we did here new hashtag strategy for a certain client last said at the time we were still focused on management so we also uh, researched hashtags for them check all the ads we were slowly transitioning into social media marketing that's why we were checking the ads send message to Nicole about clients uh, sample post outsourced to like I said you know um, when we get an, a management client um, we send them a few sample posts and in the meantime we um, outsource that or give it to one of our teammates and in the meantime you know we post the sample posts uh, for the client manually and as you can see like that's what my to-do list looks like I try and um, I, at the time I had quite a lot of things on the to-do list nowadays I try and limit it to uh, a maximum of 10 tasks so I figured out like, what, what are the most important tasks for that day, what are the income producing activities, I focus on those and then I try and limit the amount of time that I spend doing like menial things or stuff that I can uh, give to my virtual assistants. So next thing successful people do is that they really do take care of their health. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed as well, like not, not necessarily that my health has gone down, but um, I'm moving less, you know, I'm, I'm sitting at my desk uh, a lot more than I used to and a lot more than I'd like to be. Uh, but anyway, in terms of health, uh, there are like a few uh, like vitamins and supplements that I take. Uh, the first one being multivitamin, just to make sure that I get in all like the nutrients that I need to get. Um, not gonna lie, you know, there's some days where it's it's so busy and I'm trying to figure out all different things that um, I go for like a protein shake or a protein bar, anything like that, rather than like a nutritious meal. So uh, on days like that, or every single day actually, I just try and get in as many vitamins as possible. So multivitamin, vitamin D3, because obviously the sun doesn't really shine in the Netherlands, does it? Uh, there's only a couple of days in the year that, that it's actually sunny and warm out. Um, so to, to get my vitamin D in, 
I take a vitamin D3 supplement. Green tea extract basically is like um, all the all the benefits of green tea. You know the, the metabolism boosting um, like elements of green tea are all in this one like supplement which you can take. It's called green tea extract. Extract and ZMA, zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B12 or B6, one of the two. I can't remember the top of my head, but um, it basically helps with. Um, Helps with like your, your 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 sleep quality basically. That's what I take it for. Um, all these supplements I get from my protein, which is like a UK based supplement company that I work with, and uh, you know they send me um, products monthly, and then in exchange for promotion, obviously. But uh, you know they just help me along with my journey as well. So in terms of health, there's a, are a couple of more things that I do. Uh, the first thing is I track my calories with a free app called My Fitness Pal. Um, so for those of you that don't know how it works, if you eat more than your daily caloric needs, then obviously you gain weight, eat less, then you lose weight. It's all about calories in versus calories out if you're looking at a weight loss, weight gain point of view. So I'm slowly trying to gain weight. I'm in a lean bulking phase, still on top of my fitness. So um, I track with my fitness pal, make sure that I get in uh, enough calories in a day and also make sure that uh, my macronutrients are on point. So I get enough protein, get enough carbohydrates and enough healthy fats. I track my sleep with an app called Sleep Cycle. Um, at the time, it was paid. I think it might actually be free now with like in-app purchases. Um, just an app you put at the side of your bed and it tracks like your sleep, how deep do you sleep, uh, when is your REM cycle, how good is your REM cycle, you know, all stuff like that. Uh, gets tracked with it. I like to. I like to know stuff like that. I don't. Know, I'm weird like that. Uh, track weight with scales. So I do track my weight every single day. When I wake up of a morning, I go on the scales, see how much I weigh, write it down. And if I'm not gaining weight as quickly as I want to be, I up my calories. If I'm gaining weight too quick, too quickly, then obviously I lower my caloric intake. And I track activity, as in like how much do I walk in a day with the health app of the iPhone. So I aim for 10,000 steps a day. That's why I go on morning walks as well to get in like that, uh, get in that amount of steps. Also listen to podcasts and audio books. Uh, but just to get in those 10,000 steps and I check the health app to see if I've actually achieved that in a day. Fair thing that successful people do is they brainstorm with like-minded people. Uh, this is something that, especially like since I've like, sort of become part of this industry, I have been doing quite a lot. Never used to like to network and I always thought it was a bit creepy, a bit salesy. Um, but nowadays, like especially within the industry, I've noticed that a lot of people are out there to help you, you know, they are out there to sort of uh, connect with like-minded people and I understand that we're sort of, we're a, a different breed than like the average uh, person, you know, like a lot of people don't think the way we do, so we, you know, we do need to stick together to make sure we don't go absolutely insane. Um, that is like the biggest difference I've noticed in the, like, the entrepreneurial niche rather than the fitness niche. I felt like within the fitness niche, everyone was out there like, trying to get success for themselves you know there's uh, been people that I've like collaborated with or uh, spoken to when we were sort of like on the same like subscriber level and as soon as they shot up you know they didn't know who I was anymore or the uh, you know they wouldn't even say hello if I saw them in the street you know stuff like that and I've noticed that within the entrepreneurial niche everyone's like positive everyone's like-minded everyone tries to connect with one another and actually help each other out so shout out to the, to the entire industry the entire niche um, as you can see, you know, I do try and contact and stay in contact and keep in touch with as many people within the niche as possible. As you can see on the left, uh, there's a picture of me with Brandon C, who is a high ticket closer and a mentee of Dan Loch. Um, you know, we, we stay in contact on a weekly basis. I think we have, uh, like these last few weeks, we've, having, we've been having weekly calls as well. He's really been helping me with the, um, like, the copy of our website, the copy of how we do sales, you know, like how do we talk to clients, how do we come off as professionals and also with like closing the sales itself. Um, on the right top, you can see that I am actually in Toronto with uh, Quentin Chad and Jovan Stojanovic, both really successful digital marketers who have actually just uh, recently brought out a social media course that's been going really well as well. Um, Jovan has really... It taught me a lot about dropshipping. He used to be a dropshipper, actually earned $500,000 in revenue before stopping dropshipping and going all in on social media marketing. And uh, Quentin's been on the channel a couple of times, so you know uh, what his expertise are as well. Right bottom, Brad Riley. Um, for those of you that don't know, he's got a 
course called the Social Media Marketing Academy. It is one of like the very first courses I've done on social media marketing. He, he really helps me with outsourcing, automation, anything like that. You know, he's um, a really like work smart kind of guy. So he just makes sure like um, he really helps me with focus on the income producing activities rather than just doing like all these menial tasks. Um, you know, I am a bit of a perfectionist. I've got a bit of OCD with, with stuff like that, but he makes sure that I stay on track and focus on what is important and what's not. Another thing successful people do is they turn off distractions. And I'm not going to lie, this is something I struggle with a lot. Like, um, obviously, because of social media, because of Instagram, you know, it is really difficult to switch off. And I've noticed that, um, especially if I have my phone on me or near me when I'm trying to get some deep work done, you know, it just doesn't work. There's too many notifications, there's too many messages to answer to, there's too many like updates on Twitter and Instagram. You know, it's. It's so easy to get sucked in and it's really hard to actually, um, you know, stay on track with what you're doing. The four apps or plugins that have really helped me with this are um, Self-Control, app for the, for the for the iMac, for the Apple Mac. Um, basically blocks out any website that you blacklist. So, especially when I was in uni, this really helped for me. I um, blacklisted uh, Nine Gag, YouTube, Facebook, Netflix, Twitter... Um, and I think Stumble, which was like an old website I used to go on quite a lot as well, Reddit. Websites like that, you can blacklist for a certain amount of time and then when you're uh, in study mode, when you've got self-control on, you cannot access those websites. Like the, the internet will just go off when you go on those websites. It says, you know, there's no uh, connection to this website. So highly recommend that if you struggle with uh, getting stuff done while you're in uni or if you're trying to get deep work done and you know there's a few websites that really do distract you, you can turn on self-control free app for the iMac uh, and the Apple MacBook. Another app that's really helped me for, for the phone because obviously, you know, you can turn it off on your Mac or your computer, but if you've still got your phone near you, then you'll still go on those websites, is an app called Forest. And basically what you do is you plant uh, a tree and then if you manage to keep up the amount of time that you've set for yourself so it's let's say that's 30 minutes then the tree will grow if you go on your phone within those 30 minutes the tree will die and um, it's like a psychological thing so if you um, you know it's like a sort of reward at the end of uh, staying on track for 30 minutes because you see the little tree you know it's nice to look at um, you know, really, really helpful app in my opinion. Like I said, it's psychological. You know, you, you want that tree to grow. You don't want to see that dead tree on your little board uh, of the forest app. Um, and two plugins that have really helped me along the way as well is Newsfeed Eradicator for Facebook. So uh, when you're on, I use Facebook for like the business manager side of things uh, because we do ads for clients. And it's so easy to get sucked into that newsfeed. You know, it's like you can scroll endlessly and it's just constant updates all the time and by turning on newsfeed eradicator i cannot see the newsfeed so it's just completely white it's a really clean display all i can do is search for clients or use the business manager app and then another one is distraction blocker for youtube so basically i can only see what i've subscribed to i can't i cannot go into the history of the videos i've seen previously um, i don't even think i can go and watch later all i can see is uh, my subscriptions so no recommended videos no videos that i should watch or new videos anything like that other than my subscriptions another thing successful people have as a habit is having a consistent sleep schedule now again another thing i really struggled with uh, just starting out i used to go to bed so late and then because i used to go to bed late you know i used to get up late as well because uh, otherwise i'd just be absolutely knackered exhausted and uh, because I went to bed late, you know, I couldn't get up early and it, it became like a chicken and egg thing where I just, it was just really hard to break out of. And one day I just bit the bullet, you know, I got up extremely early, spent the entire day exhausted, but just forced myself to stay awake. You know, no naps, not like that. And by the end of it, I was so tired. I went to bed at like 9 p.m. And I slept until like the next morning at 7, uh, woke up at 7am and from there it was just so much easier to get up earlier, go to bed earlier and now I've just set like my sleep schedule to go to bed at like 10, uh, 10 o'clock I get a notification on my phone to, um, you know, to, to start switching off, start um, going off the computer, then I try to have like the lights out at 11 and then get up at 6.30. And for those who that really do struggle with getting up earlier, um, I really do hire like I highly recommend uh, the AM Club. It's free to join, and you basically 
immediately I gain a network of, of uh, people that are like-minded, you know, people that you should surround yourself with. I uh, like I said this last week as well. In this group, we actually set goals for ourselves. Uh, it's like the come month, and we all keep each other accountable for it. Um, you know, it's uh, on this screenshot. There's 55 members, but uh, at the point of recording this, I think we're at 75 uh, members. And like I said in the last video, you know, the atmosphere is great. We all share knowledge, and we've got like this thing going now where we constantly post what time we wake up. So if I get up at 6:30. I'll go downstairs, make myself a cup of coffee, take a photo of the cup of coffee, set the time for like 6.30 and then post it in this group. And, um, you know, there are quite a lot of people are doing this now. And it's, it's just fun to see, you know, what uh, what time everyone gets up and how long people can keep this streak up for. And, uh, for example, like last Friday, I was like, oh, I was so tired last Friday. I, I was in Amsterdam with my girlfriend. Uh, that's where she lives till past midnight. So I didn't get home to like the early hours of the morning. And my alarm went off and I was just so tempted to delete the alarm the app, uh, like the app I used to get up. And uh, like before I, I, I realised uh, what I was doing, you know, I, I, I remembered the, the AM club, you know, it's active and I did set myself a goal. So like this was actually, uh, this actually got me up and I just felt accountable to like the members in the club, you know, to get up, stay active, you know, like... Uh, stay true to my goals and so you know it just it it does work guys so if you if you want to join you know if you yeah it's, it's it's free access to everyone so um you know if you want to gain a network if you want to like connect with like-minded people set yourself a goal then make sure you join today the link will be in the description box down below as you can see here you know we 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 we, we, we get up at like quite early uh, there's people that get up much earlier than I do. There's some people that get up at five, you know, quarter to six. I get up at half past six. But it's just good to see that, um, you know, the whole community is active. All the members are trying to get up as early as possible on me to improve themselves. Uh, you know, I like, like the quote on the wallpaper here. Build my own empire. Man manifest my own thoughts, you know. Um, in the end, you know, you, you do have to do it yourself. You need to take action yourself. But, you know, we are here to help. And together we can accomplish so much more. With all this together... And, you know, if you don't quit, success is guaranteed. And the last habit that successful people have is that they do feed their minds. So, you know, they're constantly on the lookout for knowledge that they can download. Basically, you know, um, lifelong learners. Uh, this is something that I'm trying to apply myself as well. Like, there's this massive misconception that after university, after school, that you don't need to learn anymore. Or people just stop learning. You know, like, people only read one book a year on average after university. And I think that, you know, we should all be lifelong learners who's constantly on the lookout for new knowledge, constantly improving, constantly developing yourself until the person you want to be. And obviously one of the major tools for that is books. Uh, so this is a picture I took when I was in Maastricht last year, which is like the south of Holland. And uh, this is a bookshop slash library, uh, which actually used to be an old church. So they've revamped it into like this library. And uh, I, I loved it, loved every single minute of it while I was there. I spent a, a good hour looking through all the books, especially like the management and the self-improvement section. And books have just really, really helped me, you know, develop myself as a person. Uh, I listen to them in all like different shapes and forms, you know, uh, audio books, e-books, uh, actual paper books, you know, whatever. Um, as long as I can get the knowledge, you know, I'm happy to use what, what kind of medium, you know, there is to, to get the knowledge. Um, you know, it's the, the great thing about books is, you know, the author spent like half of his life trying to gain this knowledge. He spent so much money on coaches and stuff like that. And he's compressed all that knowledge in a book that you can buy for like 20, 30 euros, which is, you know, unreal when you think about the amount of knowledge. And I think it's like an undervalued uh, tool like because people nowadays, they want, you know, they want a, a instant gratification. They're not willing to put in the time to read a book. And I think more people should read books because, like, the amount of knowledge in there is unbelievable. And obviously, another thing that has really helped me up my game is through courses. So, you know, like, these courses aren't necessarily from professionals. I You can also just get a course from someone who's just that little step ahead of you. That's just one chapter further than you along on, on the, like, the journey. Um, and that can also be, like, very valuable for you because you can just take out the little golden nuggets from that person, you know, who's, who's where you want to be or on the road to where you want to be. And that can really help you improve your game because, you know, basically you're cutting down your learning curve. I think I explained this in the last video as well. You know, you can work hard, you can work smart, but you can also invest in guidance and just shorten the amount of time that it takes for you to reach success. So rather than it taking you 10 years to figure it all out on your own, 
you know you can actually buy courses and invest in coaching from other people and you know you can maybe do it in two three years max now obviously i'm not here to promote my own ebook but um you know i do have my own playbook and again you know it's Basically, for those of you that um, see me as one step further than you guys, so you, know, you can invest in the knowledge that 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 I've already brought to the table. You know, uh, basically, just see where I am. And uh, this whole like playbook is uh, like the foundation for those of you that want to live life on their own terms. If you want to sort of like design design the life of your dreams, then this playbook is definitely the foundation because it's got everything from uh, personal brand and social media marketing. Uh, Amazon FBA dropship, you know, like, like I said, I'm not here to promote it. Um, I don't think I need to promote it anymore. If you're interested in seeing what other people think, you know, you don't need to take my word for it. Just look at the testimonials on the website. Uh, link, again, link in the description box down below. You can just see the amazing results that people have already gotten with uh, this one ebook. And, um, you know, I've, uh, I've, quite a few people have asked me, like, okay, so what is actually in the ebook? You know, can you show me like, the table of contents? So um, basically what I explain in this book is my story. So what I've done, how far I've come so far. Uh, social media management. So actually how do you do, uh, how do you start your own social media marketing agency? How do you get leads? How do you sell, uh, you know, how do you sell your service to the clients? How do you manage all the projects and how do you actually get results of the clients? Then I go into like dropshipping, which is another like financial vehicle that I really do think is um, like very uh, beneficial to start. Amazon FBA, same thing, you know, um, e-commerce, it's basically all in this ebook. I explain about Jungle Scout, which is like a, a very good uh, tool for Amazon FBA. I go into personal brand and how you can make money off your personal brand, uh, affiliate marketing, how can you actually set up uh, your coaching, you know, get digital products, and then I've, uh, I've got like a few bonus modules, uh, chapters on like how to actually live your life on your own terms, uh, like I explained before, smart work, hard work, investing, investing guidance. Um, income producing activities, most important tasks, again, what I explained before, the 80-20 principle, Parkinson's law, and also a final chapter on automation and outsourcing, how to actually automate your business for it to become passive to you. So anyway, um, and before we move on to the next uh, slide, I just want to give you guys uh, like a discount code. So, you know, just as a thank you for uh, watching my videos and taking the time out of your day to engage with my content. Um, I want to give you guys a discount code um, for those of you that, that have not picked up the playbook just yet. You can get 20% off uh, with a discount code YouTube. So YouTube in capital letters will get you 20% off the, the playbook. So um, I think I've said this so many times in my Instagram stories before, but you know it's a one-time payment and you've got a lifetime uh, amount of value in there. So Anyway, moving on. That's all I've got for today, basically. But a little question or a little like action step for those of you that are serious about their goals and their habits. I've got two questions for you guys. You know, uh, you can leave the answers in the comments below, or if you'd rather keep it to yourself, you know, that's okay. Just write them down for yourself on a piece of paper. Uh, question number one is: What habit would you like to like? What would what habit would you benefit from most right now? And question number two is what action steps are you going to take to create this habit? I've said it before, you know, knowing is one thing. You know, you can know what habit you need to, to create right now, but you need to take action as well. Knowledge is not power. It's potential power. Execution is power. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, then make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.